I've published this circuit a few days ago. Easy square wave generator. But now I'm in the second phase from that uh, development from that oscillator, square wave oscillator. And I've changed a few things. And the first important change is that I made here a potentiometer, a voltage divider, and also here. That means that the transistor can be set to a different working point. And that's here. This is the new circuit. And I want to demonstrate it. I hope it's not um, too messy, this demonstration. Because many things can happen in this circuit when I change the parameters. For instance, from the capacitor here sets the frequency, this capacitor here also. So anyway, let's hear what the This is the sound that's generated now. This is the frequency. And this is the waveform. I try to find a waveform with a better uh, pass pulse ratio, but that was not very easy, though I could change the working point. Anyway, Let's see what happens when we change the working point from the transistor, the first transistor, by changing the value from the potentiometer, 22K. And now the other potentiometer from the second transistor. You can hear that the frequency goes up. And there's still not a proper pause pulse ratio, but anyway. Frequency is 983 kHz. And I've connected here now. I've connected here and here a capacitor from 470 nanofarad. That makes that the frequency goes down. Also here. And when I change the working point, that has also an effect on the, the frequency and the waveform. Now I'm going to disconnect here the 470 nanofarad cap, the blue, the blue one. It stops. That's strange. That's also one of the flaws from this circuit. We have to start it again by applying the voltage. Now we do that. And in that case it has to start. But it doesn't. Well, that shows the problems. Let's, show, let's see what happens when we move the potentiometer more to the middle. Here also to the middle. And now we try to start the oscillator again. Now it's already again started. So that's one of the problems that you can encounter when you work with square wave oscillators from this type. Now it oscillates again. And also interesting to show what happens when we bring the voltage down to zero and Put it up and see whether it starts. Now it starts. Could be that in another situation it doesn't start. That are the flaws from such a circuit. But in many cases the parameters from the potentiometers can be set in such a way that it always starts at any voltage and frequency. So let's see what happens when we change the voltage to 40 volts. This is the waveform now at 40 volts. 
40 volts and 14 kilohertz. Let's feel the temperature from the transistors. Doesn't get hot, though you can hear that the frequency changes somewhat. That's also normal. Now I'm going to uh, disconnect the 470 uh, micro, uh, nanofire cap here. And it goes up the frequency to a very high frequency. This is the frequency now. Good waveform by the way. And it is 20 kilohertz approximately. And again when I change the working point from the transistors you will see that the frequency changes. 16 kilohertz, waveform at 16 kilohertz, thirty one kilohertz, waveform at thirty one kilohertz, the other potentiometer. Now it stops and it doesn't want to start. Well, I've explained that earlier. Back move back, uh, sorry, diminish the voltage and perhaps it wants to start now. Yes, it starts. Here you can see the waveform. So, these are the typical properties from such an experimental circuit. But it is a useful circuit and you can adapt it to your own personal needs.